you could do this experiment. Why don't you do a little experiment here? We'll see if we can make this work. But, but if anyone has an injury doing this, please sue Musculoskeletal Australia <laughs> or the sponsors. OK, so what I want you to do is just uh, squeeze your, your thumbnail, one hand on the other. Don't do this if you have sore fingers. But squeeze it just enough just to make it hurt just a little bit. Remember how hard you're squeezing it? OK, now squeeze the thumbnail of the person next to you, the same hardness. <laughs> and what you should all notice is that it hurts more when they squeeze it. So we... <laughs> OK, stop now. When I... Um, I once ran this experiment... I once ran this experiment squeezing earlobes. <laughs> and that was bad because they came back a week later and half of the class had bruised earlobes. <laughs> it's a bad look. But we do a controlled experiments which show that if you apply pressure to your own finger uh, to produce pain of a, that you rate at about 3 out of 10, uh, if you apply, if someone else who is your friend is applying that same pressure, even though they're your friend, it hurts more. And if it's a stranger, it hurts in, almost intolerably. And people will swear it's more pressure. That bastard is turning up the pressure. <laughs> so the difference in these scenarios is not the event. It's the risk. And the risk is what determines how... Your, your, it tells your brain, OK, I need you to protect yourself here. And the only way I can make you protect yourself here is to make it hurt, because it, it's unpleasant. Pain is unpleasant. You want, you want to stop it. 